Hi, good afternoon. This is another episode of Discuss with Gus. And uh, again, I want to get to your questions, but again, keep the questions coming in, uh, whether it's email or whether it's letters, the, the old fashioned way, uh, phone calls, and I'll try to answer as many questions as I possibly can. Uh, the first one is from Angela from Tarpon Springs, Florida. As your constituent and someone who has been touched by pancreatic cancer, I am deeply concerned about the proposed cuts to the NIH in the administration's budget. Cutting research funding would be damaging to the progress we've made against pancreatic cancer. Please continue to support increases to the NIH. And Angela, I agree with you. As a matter of fact, in the 21st Century Cures Initiative, which I played a major role in, uh, we increased funding to the NIH by $4.8 billion. Now, and that is mandatory spending. In addition to that, uh, I have, have to tell you that, uh, you know, the President's budget is just a proposal. Uh, Congress actually uh, has the personal strings, specifically the House of Representatives. So, uh, you know, these are strictly proposals coming out of the White House. We make the decisions, and I'm a strong supporter of uh, the NIH, and I think we should have increases to the NIH because we're making a world of difference. Thank you for your question. Next, uh, we have Joy from San Antonio, Florida. Please start checking the veterans' hospitals in your district. Get together with all of our representatives and make everyone aware that a few VA appoint, uh, employees are leading the charge to eliminate President Trump's picture from the walls of the VA hospitals. I sincerely hope you can help. Well, uh, President Trump's picture should be uh, on the walls of the VA hospitals. We've checked it out and indeed they are on the walls. In other words, it's not just President Trump, but also the VA secretary, uh, and his name is uh, Secretary Shulkin, uh, and uh, the pictures are on the walls at Bay Pines and also at Haley. Uh, and I commend my friend, uh, a, a warrior, a uh, wounded warrior who does an outstanding job uh, in South Florida representing the constituents there. Uh, and he made sure that uh, the West Palm Beach VA Center had pictures on the wall. Uh, they took them down, he wouldn't put them back up. That's the way it should be. In my opinion, uh, any VA employee who does that or fails to put the pictures on the wall, the President of the United States and the uh, VA Secretary should be fired. So uh, again, we'll stay on it locally. We're in good shape. It has to be uniform around the country. Okay, I've got Ernest from Trinity. And uh, Ernest says, any tax reform plan should include no zero tax rate. Even for the lowest earners, start at say 3%. Everyone pays income tax. We all need to have skin in the game. And that, again, like he says, that should apply to everyone. Uh, and I will tell you this, that uh, we are going to examine tax reform um, very, very soon. Uh, Ernest, so uh, I'll keep your views, uh, your opinions in mind, but I think everyone should have skin in the game, no question, whether they the lowest earner or the highest earner, everyone should have skin in the game. Uh, so in any case, it's a good, uh, good suggestion, and I'll pass that along. So thank you very much, uh, and uh, keep the questions coming, and uh, again, uh, thanks for viewing Discuss with Gus, and uh, I'll see you next week.